Hey everyone, Mr. MC here. This is a guide for round 9 of the 2022 Nations Cup Test Season 2 taking place at Yamagiwa with the Subaru Dora X, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, and the Toyota GR Yaris. I'll have the time codes in the description down below, but anyways, let's go on over to the race details. So this is a 6 lap race at Kyoto Driving Park Yamagiwa. This is a grid start. Fuel and tower are times 1, so this is a really easy 0 stop. Uh, we're using the sports hard tires, and the cars we're using is the 2020 Toyota GR Yaris, the 2014 Subaru Dara X, and the 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. This is a tuning race, so get ready to spend quite a few credits because we're going to be tuning some cars up. The first car we'll be tuning up is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, and this is a 2015 model by the way. Uh, the first thing we'll do is actually go to GT Auto because there's a lot of things that we need to do there. First, you want to get a wide body. Uh, in this case, I already have the wide body fitted, but make sure you get one because it'll allow you to do a couple more things that will improve the car. And then you want to go ahead and buy yourself a new set of wheels because you deserve it. Uh, there's also a couple things that we need to do there. So when you get a new set of wheels, you want wide offset, wide rim width, and in this case, I'm using 19 inch wheels. So you want to make sure you have all that. Going over to custom parts, I'm using front bumper type B for the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. And then going over to side skirts, I'm also using type B. Going over to rear bumper, there's only rear bumper type A, so you want to go ahead and get that. And yes, these do improve your car. And then you want to get the custom wing set. I have the wing on high, uh, medium and low should work out fine as well. And there is actually one more thing that we do need to get going over to racing items. And you actually want to get a roll cage because this also uh, affects the car. So I'm using roll cage type A, so you want to go ahead and get that as well. Then go on over to tuning shop and get ready to pause the video and take a screenshot if you need to because there's a lot of things that we need to buy. For example, three stages of the weight stage reduction, the low RPM turbocharger, a power restrictor, ballast, anti-lag system, all these good stuff. And in terms of the racing brake kits, slotted, drilled, and the ceramic brake kits all work the same. So uh, you can pretty much just choose whichever one you want. I'm using the racing brake kit slotted just because it's cheap. So uh, I went ahead and bought those. All right, so hopefully you had the time to screenshot this part because now it's time to go ahead and build our Lancer Evo. So feel free to pause the video as it goes along to take screenshots of what I have. Uh, I didn't want to make too many drastic changes to the car as it was already feeling pretty good uh, when I started to test the car around. I did move the rear ballast towards the back of the car to make it a lot more willing to rotate. Added a lot of downforce to make it perform better on the high speed corners. Also, don't forget to turn on your anti-lag system. I have it set to strong because by default it's off. So you need to go in there and manually turn it on. And I'll also show the replay of my fastest lap with this car towards the end of the video. But yeah, overall this car, it felt pretty good to drive. But for me personally, it felt a little understeery uh, with this tune. But if you're looking for something that's kind of stable, then this is definitely a car worth trying out. Now let's go on over to the Subaru Dari X because there's a lot of things that we need to get for this car as well. So we'll go through the same process that we did for the Lancer Evo where we're going to start off in GT Auto. Once again, get a wide body kit because this car will obviously need one to perform a bit better. Uh, I already have one installed in this case so yeah, make sure you have one installed already. Go back to GT Auto. We're going to, once again, get ourselves a new set of wheels because you deserve it. So we're going to go ahead and actually just go through one of the wheels that I already own. Uh, make sure you have the wide offset, which you'll see in a moment. Give it a moment. There we go. And then we're going to go for the wide rim width and 19 inch wheels as well. 
Okay, yeah, I'm taking my time just going through these things. Come on, let's hurry up now. There we go. So get yourself a front bumper. There's only one type, so uh, get front bumper A. Side skirt A, you want to get that as well. For the rear bumper, there's only type A, so get that. For the rear wing, I'm getting the custom wing set. And just like in the Lancer Evo, I went with the high one. Uh, medium and low work just as fine as well. And then you want to go on over to racing items and get your roll cage. I'm using type A for the roll cage. This also affects the car as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and go on over to the tuning shop because there's a lot of things that we need to get as well. Uh, it's actually going to be pretty similar or identical to the things that we got for the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. But I'll have everything listed here just in case if you want to take a screenshot and buy all these things. Because, yeah, there's a lot of things that we need to get. Once again, uh, sports hard tires, all three stages of the weight stage reduction, low RPM turbocharger, anti-lag system. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we need to get as well for this car. And just as I mentioned earlier in the video, the slotted drilled racing brake kits and the ceramic racing brake kits all perform the same so you can pick whichever one you want if you want to spend a few less credits go with the slotted or drilled racing brake kits but yeah that's going to be it for this part because we need to go ahead and start to build our car so here is a tune for the subaru daria x uh, feel free to take screenshots if you like and for this car, it feels more lively or livelier than the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. Uh, this car also has a bunch of downforce, so it'll be pretty good when it comes to the high speed corners. The ballast is all the way to the back of the car. Once again, turn on your anti lag system because it is off by default. And for me personally, this car felt a lot better for me because it was a lot more lively uh, it was a lot more willing to turn but you do kind of have to treat this car with respect because if you try to get too aggressive uh, with the car when you're turning in then the car is going to act up on you so as long as you're able to be smooth with the transitions uh, or with your turning inputs then the car should be more willing to cooperate with you but that's going to be it in terms of the commentary the uh fastest laps that I have done with the cars will be shown in a moment but before I go I just want to give a quick thank you for the amazing support uh, this past month because it has been uh, pretty rough lately and also a quick shout out to you guys for the over 100k views on the Tomahawk video because I definitely did not expect uh, that video to do that well but anyways, uh, that's going to be all for me. Uh, good luck in your race. And yeah, so this is Mr. MCA, the world's most okay player. And I'll see you in the next video.